Welcome to the Ascendosoft demonstration of the Digital Drawer Document Management System. Today we will discuss administering Digital Drawer using the Digital Drawer Admin application. At this point, we have already logged into Digital Drawer Admin and are viewing the Users tab, which lists all the users within the system. As you can see, each user is associated with a user group. This user group contains the specific permissions that the user has been granted. You can add new users modify users, and delete users from this screen. The user groups that exist within the system are located under the Groups tab. On the left, in the User Groups box, all the groups are listed. To select the permissions for a specific group, select the group in the list. We are now looking at the permissions for the Demo group. Within the Library Permissions section, all of the libraries in Digital Drawer are listed in the Libraries box. The library names that contain a check mark are the libraries that this group has access to. You can set specific permissions for a library by selecting the library. As you can see, this library's permissions are set to full control. This means that this group has been granted full permissions for this library. To specify individual permissions, click the Advanced Permissions link. On the Advanced Permissions screen, you can check or uncheck the specific permissions that get granted to this group for the selected library. Under the General Permissions section, you have three options for administrative privileges. Currently, System Administrator is selected, giving this group access to the Digital Drawer Admin application. If you do not want the group to have access to this application, select the None option. The Library Administrator option is a scaled-down version of the System Administrator option and is not within the scope of this demonstration. Within the Digital Door Admin application, you will also create and manage the libraries within the system. To create a new document library, select Libraries Create New Library. Simply type the name of the library. as well as the index fields that you want to include within the library. If you want any of the index fields to be used to filter the library out into folders, which will be displayed in the main application as subfolders underneath the library name, check those fields now. Once you are finished, Click Create. If you need to modify any of the libraries that you have created, select Libraries Manage Libraries. Select the name of the library that you want to modify and click Manage. From this screen, you can rename the library as well as add or modify any index fields within the library. The last thing that we need to talk about is scheduling Digital Drawer to automatically run backups on a regular basis. This is an important step and should not be skipped. In order to protect your organization against the potential loss of data, these backups should be run at least once a week and should be monitored to ensure that the backup files are being successfully created. To schedule automatic backups within Digital Drawer, select Tools, Schedule Automatic Backup. Click the checkbox enabling the automatic backups and then select the location that you want the backup files to be placed. Please remember that it is not sufficient to just place the backup file on the same computer where the Digital Drawer database is located. If you do place the backup file on the same computer, then you must have another process that copies the backup file onto a backup device or the system will not be effectively backed up. Select the days and time that you want the backups to run. And finally, select the amount of backup files that you want the system to keep. This is designed to prevent your server's hard drive from filling up with old backup files. Select a number that will provide you plenty of protection, but will ensure that your hard drive does not get full. This concludes our demonstration of Digital Drawer.
If you have any questions or would like to receive more information, please contact us at 425-749-3850 or visit our website at digitaldrawer.net. Thank you for your time.